All right. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's Kyle with episode 331 of Unlocking Your Inner Strength. I hope you all had a great weekend. I know we did. <clears throat> Got a lot of uh, good family time in. Yeah, just good times lately. So I'm very grateful for that. I was able to move a piano inside the house by myself yesterday. Uh, Budge, my older brother, helped me get into the truck Saturday, but he wasn't around yesterday. I think it'd be about 600 pounds. And where we live, if you've seen our, we're on a hill, pretty steep hill. So there's no easy way to get something in the house. You either gotta go upstairs, downstairs, or up the grassy hill. That's it. When I built the patio, everything had to be carried in by hand, all the material, which is the, really one of the hardest things to do. So I got it off the truck and I devised a plan and I was able to shimmy, deadlift, walk, put it down stabilize get to the other side and i kept doing it. it took me about 45 minutes but i got the piano in the house by myself so it was a good challenge it was a good workout yesterday you don't really start doubling down on my mindset principles that i share with you guys because that it really all comes down to the mind and i find myself in more and more conversations about the mind and explaining this concept to people that when you can Attempt to master what's up there. I won't say when you master it because you're going to have ups and downs. And there might be times when you let yourself slide a little bit more. But you got to catch yourself. That's a key thing. You got to catch yourself and not let it snowball. And the reason this is so super important, one part of our one-year vision at Newell Strength is to impact over one million lives over the next year. So how are we going to do that? Well, obviously, a lot of it's going to be through social media, not just our brick and mortar locations, my writings, our content that we're putting out. But what's going to be the change? It's going to be the mindset piece that we impact people with. Even the panda is based in mindset, mind mapping and mindset. So today I'm going to share with you over the next eight or so minutes, three things that if you implement these into your life and you continue to focus on these things, it'll build an unbelievable mind, okay? A unique mind, a, a strong mind. It'll build a mind that is, is ready for battle because every day you're going to have obstacles. Every day you're going to have struggles. Stop wishing that that weren't so. That's a stupid way to think because they're going to be there. And... I get frustrated with people when they when they say, oh, it shouldn't be like this, but it is. So stop thinking like that. Embrace reality. Embrace reality. And I guess I'll start with that one. Ownership, guys. Embracing reality. Where you're at in your life is a direct effect of what you've done, what you've thought up to, your, uh, up to this point in your life. The process of creation, you're constantly creating your life, is thought, word, action. Thought, word, action. Thought, word, action. Your thoughts create your life. Who your relationships you're working on or what you're studying, what you're doing for your daily disciplines, all that type of stuff. So embracing reality. And the way this has helped me, and I can remember doing this um, from a, a young age, was no matter what happens in your life, when it's, when it's perceived negatively, first of all, we're going to reframe it, which will be the next thing I'm going to go over. We look in the mirror or say to yourself, this is on me. I got this. I can change this. Even if you can't, you could always control your mindset. That's always under your control. That's a stoic principle, a, a principle from stoicism. What's under your direct control and what's not under your direct control. Whatever you don't have direct control over, don't worry about it because... There's nothing you can do. The only thing you can affect in many parts is your beliefs, your mindset, your attitude. So people say, well, it's not. A, it is. Your mindset is It's always under your control. Every time you want to put the blame out there somewhere, you give away your power. You give away your power. So ownership, embracing reality, and looking in the mirror and saying, it's my bad. Ownership of results in your life. So that's the first thing that can really start making a dramatic difference in your life once you start implementing that. Reframing. So I always tell people, I've been telling people for 10 years now, 
probably longer than that. The number one skill that should be taught that is not taught. And so if you're a parent, start teaching this to your children. Reframing. Take the old frame off of that picture and put a new frame on it. Like if you look at this, right? This is a frame. It's a picture of me and my mom when I was a young guy. Look a lot like Colty. But when you want to reframe something, you're literally, okay, take the frame, put it in a new frame. It's going to make the picture look prettier. And the picture is your reality, what is going on with you right now in that circumstance. Your brain cannot ignore a question that you ask of it. And people say, oh, yeah, you can. No, you can't. Because when you ask your brain a question, you might not give a verbal, audible answer, but you, you thought about it, even if it's for a split second. The brain has an open, there's something called the open loop theory. It doesn't like when there's a gap. So if you, if you ask yourself that question, it wants to close that. It'll come up with an answer for it. And along those same lines, there's something known as open architecture. And this is an important one that I haven't talked a lot about lately, but I used to talk about a lot, so maybe I'll bring it back. Is open architecture means if you, if you have the thought in your head, if you have the thought of something that you want to do, you, you know in some part of your soul that it's possible. You wouldn't have the thought otherwise. For example, I don't envision myself just levitating and flying around town. Not possible, right? Not possible for where I'm at, at, at in my evolution. But reframing, what's great about this problem? What did I learn from this problem? How does this problem make me better? How is this problem going to make me more of a leader. That's reframing. Anything that happens to you, and Devin can tell you, I probably get annoying um, with this because I've trained my mind over the years. I go to that instantly. I don't allow pity, for self-pity. I will not allow self-pity for myself. And I have very low tolerance for people that want pity. I just, I can't, I, I can't deal with it. It goes back to what I was talking about last week where the self-pity, right, and wanting to be a victim can lead, it's a negative energy. And that negative energy will create a stink that will, that will infect your mind if you're around it too much. So don't allow it. Don't allow people in your life, don't allow them to act around you that they're going to make excuses or that they're going to say, oh, well, this happened, this happened. No, what are you going to do about it? Let's go. Get to fixing it. So that's reframing. And the last one I'm going to talk about today, so these, the ownership principle reframing and fitness it all starts with fitness guys that is your foundation fitness is your foundation fitness is your ability to show up in life and do things on your terms without fatigue so when i'm writing i need to be able to sit down and write i wrote five emails for next week this morning i need to be able to focus i need to be able to have the endurance to do that and over the years i've been able to train myself in that example to write five uh, solid emails within 20 25 minutes that's a fitness component. But when I'm talking about fitness here, I'm talking about challenging your body. Your body is the doorway. The body is the doorway unto your spirit and your mind, into. Once you um, put your, your body under compression, under stress, and you do that consistently, your mind is going to change. I've, I've always said the number one classroom I have is the gym when I'm training or I'm training people. And some people get pissed at me when I train them because I push them. And I'm going to push them harder. I'm not yelling at them. I'm saying, you can do more. Let's go. I can see you could do more. I know it's uncomfortable. But let's see what you got. Why leave anything in the tank? You're trying to create fractures so you can come back in, a, in, in, in proverbial speaking, in a bigger form of yourself. So you need to realize that fitness is there to challenge you. In my workouts that I do myself, sometimes I go in, so you have two aspects, right? Certain growth factors can only get to your brain through physical movement. That's a survival mechanism. That goes back thousands of years. So you're going to feel better through exercise. That's one of the main reasons for exercise, which is going to help your state of mind. And then the second aspect of that is challenging yourself with fitness. Challenging yourself with fitness. Put yourself to the point, and I've been talking about this, where you get to that point in the workout where it sucks and you're towards the end and you want to give up and it hurts. 
and your, your muscles and your mind and your, your lungs are screaming. That's the best part of the workout because that is when you transform. That is when it takes place, right there, that fraction of a second. If you ever watch Pumping Iron, go back uh, and watch it if you haven't from the 70s with Arnold and Lou Ferrigno and Franco Colombo. It is, Arnold talks about that 10th, 11th, 12th rep when it becomes painful, what he goes, that's when you become a champion. Become a champion of your life. That's what I got for you guys, about 10 and a half minutes right there. God bless me. Finish with the sneeze. We got Oktoberfest coming up at New Old Strength, October 15th in Hillsboro. And at our senior home, the Lambertville Estate, we have Fall Fest coming up the week after, October 22nd. Everybody's invited. Come out, hang out. It can be a lot of good stuff. It's free. Um, it's just going to be a really good time. So keep working on your mindset, guys. If you put it to use, if you have questions, let me know. I will catch you guys later.